Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depending on the time and location you are tuned to our channel, thanks a lot for the visit. Today we decided to drop enough V notes and information to you. Tomorrow we'll analyze it. Today was data and information collection day because the AGPN held a meeting uh, last uh, night. And the outcome of the meeting is very, very interesting. Uh, our stars that I mean, our stars that L. German machine was saying that the government wanted the beneficiaries to have a lesser take home, but they want beneficiaries to have a higher take home. He said a lot of things. Tomorrow we'll break it down. But listen to what he's saying, listen to the, the information he devoured, and then hopefully next month there will be disbursement. So listen. Tomorrow, we'll, we'll break down the information, analyze what he said. But for now, listen to the raw uh, uh, broadcast, the raw message. See you tomorrow. See you on the other side. Bye for now. The meeting was approved to be scheduled. And we don't want to take waste more time. We don't want to um, uh, waste time before then. We have to fix the meeting to be here tonight. Out of yesterday, we don't know we're going to have this meeting. I will going to be the first speaker. While I speak, I will uh, unveil an identity which many of you have been hearing his name. So just uh, drop a few words, then uh, uh, Pastor Felix will go to crown uh, uh, it with his own speech as well. Then we are going to give um, audience. Maybe we can have all the others to speak, but certain numbers will be decided to speak yeah the meeting is meant to be more of deliberation and uh, uh, contribution from our uh, members here we want to put ourselves in shape so before i comment the speech i still want to put one or two prayer to also complement our spiritual leaders here um the we are in a world which we are only moving by the grace of Almighty God. So there is no time at any point in time, prayer will be undermined. Our prayer will be overemphasized. So I I, 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 I want to pledge myself and uh, under the umbrella of Almighty God, I, I, I want to seek for his guidance, his wisdom, his wisdom and his uh, uh, direction on this meeting tonight. And I pray, at the end of the day, let God grace everything we are going to talk in uh, today's meeting with success. Let the ends of these whole activities uh, be crowned with success. Let everybody prayer to be answered, except those ones who is having bad prayer. But for everyone who is having good prayer, we pray to Almighty God to answer all our prayer. Do what we can say out even to one we cannot uh, uh, bring out in public. Not just grant, there are a lot of things we are asking from Almighty God. We pray that may He grant all our heart desires, all our wishes in life. Then this grant is the umbrella which all of us has come together today in Nigeria. Muslims, Christians, uh, Igbo, Yoruba, Hausa, also all tribes are in grand community today. And the only thing the only goal which we want to achieve is disbursement. I don't think anybody is here other than disbursement. Irrespective of the approach or whatever you may be committed in, but the primary purpose that I brought all of us in the community is to get disbursement. And I pray the Almighty Allah give us that disbursement at the end of the day. Not just giving us the disbursement, direct us and bless it for us in a way that we are going to use it, that we have everlasting impact in our life. So, um, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Ali Chomirin, Iyak and Abdiyak and Asayid, Ibn Aswatan Sakim, Surat Al-Ezan Amta Al-Engor Mabdu Bala Waradana Amin, in the name of Allah we pray. Today's meeting is going to be very brief um, and uh, comprehensive. It's going to be a very unique one, and uh, I want to bring it uh, to our notice that this meeting is not to run anybody's down, is not to argue any opinion, neither to debate uh, with uh, anybody, 
but to just uh, outline two things. Two things. What, what are those two things? Number one is to admit our error. We want to admit our error. And number two is to narrate and explain the reality on ground now. So we don't want to take much of your time. We want to start hitting uh, it direct. How and why do we want to admit on our error? Number one, which is the number one issue. Why do we want to admit on our error? As a leader, um, any leader that fails to admit or take responsibility of his action, either positively or negatively, I think that uh, leadership is not yet a complete one. It's not a good or sign of a good leader. Uh, Mr. President, I think your network is bad. Um, can anyone hear him? I can't hear him. No, I can't hear him. I couldn't. I can't hear Mr. President any longer. Please, someone should call him. Let him adjust his position. Hello, am I on now? You are on now. You are on now. Yes, you are on. I don't know. Somebody is disturbing it's yourself, Mr. President. So we are calling. So um, I don't know. Uh, if actually I'm right from where I stop or where the network uh, started uh, talking, uh, I want to repeat it, repeat myself that uh, today meeting is one to admit on our error, and secondly is to narrate and explain the reality on ground. So um, on the number one part of the meeting, which admitting on our error, I I want to appreciate the ground community for their submissiveness, for their uh, faithfulness in us. Over the time, we have enjoyed this position of leadership in Grand Community. It's not as if we are the best. It's not as if we are most perfect. It's not as if um, we are more than any of you here. But out of trust, out of, of love, you people decide to believe in us. On that note, with the best of our ability, with the best of our capacity, we need to also be honest and sincere with you people. If at any point in time, from whatever we are feeding you, or on the ground we are leading you, we made mistakes. We have to let you know that we have made mistakes at this very point. So that at the end of the day, not because of what any of you may take, not because of what any of you will talk. Definitely some of you have already started uh, blaming or insulting us. We must have to take the insult. We must have to take the blame. And some of you still believe in us. And we want to sincerely appreciate you for that. However, even though we might have made mistakes or we have made mistakes, we want to let you know that our intention is was very clear. Our intention was a good one. And we tell God that God Look into our intention, despite our error, despite our mistake, and uh, God directing us to a very benefiting and uh, righteous path. So, what is that error? You people know how we started. In fact, I want to also affirm to all of us here that almost all of us that started this grant started in error. We all started in error. When did we start? How did we start? We were especially those of us that started in stock estate market uh, grant 2016 or 2015 whereabout. We started when a verbal promise was made to us. I cannot say, neither can I tell, if any of us that started then saw or were able to see a convincing document or something related that to the promise we made there. I won't blame anybody, I won't blame us because I myself, I was a victim. 
we are in a very difficult system we are in a very hardship uh, community where we are so desperate to have a change in narrative on in our life or livelihood it is bad for us is 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 bad for us to uh, fall into any uh, any any road that we felt can lead us to a change in our life change in uh, uh, our, our source of living most of us fall into uh, what the deceit of Sam at the end of the day it took us two years even three years before we realized what was happening then a lot of grants started coming tell Pecon came at the end of the day after all the games that happened we couldn't get anything the lack of uh, even a common word the lack of golden bridge the lack a lot of grant had been flown that did not end result likewise when we entered to bat we got all sorts of promises he promised alone he promised alone can uh, uh, make sure us to succeed in life. I think the promise we had in Tiobat was enough because I have dreamed all sorts of big things in life that I was going to have with Tiobat grants, but at the end of the day, nothing come out. The frustration, the depression we experienced in Tiobat, we have lost our, 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 our wealth, we have lost our properties, in fact, we have lost our loved ones. That frustration and depression got us into another phase of grant in Nigeria. And at that point, at that point, we are so sorry that we never meant to mislead anyone. Neither did we deliberately manipulate information to deceive any of you. But with the best of our knowledge, what we think we know then was what we were giving to you and what we were operating on. That took us for years. That took us for years. Let me say one year or two years. At the end of the day, we get into another phase of the grant. But out of the zealous, out of responsibility, out of perseverance, out of commitment to come back with something, we did not want to give up despite the hardship the obstacles and the challenges we, are, we were facing we refused to give up because the worst of any failure is giving up not giving up no matter how failure you are is not yet a failure so we keep on pushing we keep on pushing we want to tell you that during the time of we propagating names we thought we have had it all but I want to tell you that a lot has come up that we never knew then. That is why for some times now we were silent because we are observing and finding the best approach to address Nigerians. All hope is not lost, but the fact has to be told. We are promised you that there are trillions of dollars somewhere. We are promised you that there are billions of dollars somewhere. But I want to tell you that effort has been put, commitment has been put, even our resources have been exhausted in finding different documents, in finding uh, evidence to claim this money. But I want to tell you that yet all this effort has not given us any result yet. We have uh, actually made all sorts of propagation, fight. We thank Almighty God. We thank Almighty God for giving us favor. Even out of our ignorance, God was gracing us. Out of our ignorance, God was gracing us. At the end of the day, why we keep on pushing, we keep on pushing, looking for what we thought we know or what we are fed of. At the end of the day, we up to now, I'm still telling you, we are still hoping and expecting that may possibly we can still hold laid our hand on something to claim because I still believe maybe something like that is in existence. The big, the promise of this humongous amount of money to give it to Nigeria did not just start from us. It started when we were in Tiobat. In fact, I thought what we have in Tiobat, I can have an empire of my own. I think that mindset also contributed when we provide to the new phase of our journey. 
where we started. So I want to tell Nigerians that most of the things which we fed you then, most of the things which we are acting upon, working tirelessly to achieve them, most of it has not been gotten because as I'm still talking to you now, we have not gotten uh, uh, confidential facts or evidence to claim those our um, uh, assertion. On that note, God, in his infinite mercy, decided to grace us. As I'm talking to you now, we have been led into another phase of grant, which I felt as if we must be honest with you, if we must be said to you, we have to open up to you that what we should just absorb, narrow our minds to see that we are not sentimental to accept the reality on ground. What is this reality on ground? The reality on ground is that we have entered the government or the authority compound. We have entered the authority cycle. Possibly out of our prayer, my prayer and your prayer, our patience, our perseverance, maybe some of you or one of us has that good luck. God accepted the prayer that the authority has accepted to give us something to take home. In fact, I don't, as it is now, I don't